Welcome back to another video by Danfoss Power Solutions. Today we are going to look at the CAN Monitor tool, which is in the Plus One Service tool. The CAN Monitor was introduced in the Plus One Service tool in version 11.0. At Danfoss, we use the CAN bus to communicate between our CAN programmable controllers and other CAN devices, such as joysticks, displays, valves, sensors, telematics, HMR CAN rotary controls, and engine monitoring and control. The CAM monitor tool allows users to watch live message activity on the CAM bus using the Plus One service tool. In this video, I'll be using a DM430 display that is running a demo application made up of the dual path project from the Plus One basic training. I have organized my code into different pages. The main pages are the input, application, and output. For signals, I have a signal generator creating two signals to replicate voltage coming in from a joystick. I do some scaling and then run the signals through three-point sensor input blocks. This gives me propel and steer signals, which I put checkpoints on so we can monitor the values in the service tool. Then I turn them into an array and put them on the CAM bus. We'll be able to use the CAM bus monitor to see the data. And we put checkpoints to monitor the arrays also. The CAN monitor can be found in the tools directory of the service tool or by clicking on Control plus M. The CAN monitor can be used to monitor all CAN bus messages and bus load. Messages are displayed in either decimal or hexadecimal format and can be logged to a file. The CAN monitor is a basic general purpose CAN bus log tool. To use the CAN monitor, you need to have a professional license or an express license installed in your license manager. The CAN monitor has play and stop buttons. You can log all the CAN bus messages to a file, close the CAN monitor, and open up the options. In the options menu, in general settings, we can select the numerical base, hexadecimal or decimal, which is how the data bytes will be displayed. Checking the option to enable fixed positions mode allows for each CAN ID to be displayed on a single line and change the content each time a message with the same CAN ID is received or sent and you can set the maximum number of lines. The default is 100,000. In the options, pass filter settings, we can enable the pass filter and limit the CAN ID messages that are shown by setting a lower and upper limit. The lower and upper limit are decimal values. The CAN messages are separated into seven identifying columns in the main log panel. The first column on the left identifies the channel ID. The second column is the CAN message identifier. The third column is the CAN message flag, empty for standard CAN messages, X for extended. The fourth column is the data length, the amount of data bytes in the message. The fifth is the content of the CAN message data bytes. The sixth column is the CAN message timestamp, displayed in seconds since the logging was started. The seventh column is the CAN message direction, R for received by the service tool and T for transmitted from the service tool. Let's take a look at the CAN transmit output of the application. My application has two CAN transmit blocks. One is set to 101 decimal or 65 in hex, and the other is set to 102 or 66 in hex. In my service tool screen, I am using checkpoint components to monitor the propel and steering values and the array going into the CAN transmit blocks. Now let's look at the guide code service tool screen, and the CAN monitor together. In the service tool, we can see the decimal and array values from the checkpoints in the application. We can see the CAN ID of transmit components in the application and in the CAN monitor. We can also see the hexadecimal data from the service tool array in the data section of the CAN monitor. Changing the CAN monitor to decimal gives us the propel and steer values before the array component. We can turn off the fixed position, showing all the messages. This makes it difficult to see the values. And we can enable the pass filter, only allowing certain message IDs to show updated. I enter in 101 for the lower and 102 for the upper, which represents 65 and 66 in hex. We can also export a log file. This demonstrates all the functionality of the CAM monitor and the service tool. I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information on Plus One software, please remember to visit our forum or help desk 
And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see our latest video releases. Thank you for listening.